Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. So great to have you on this call tonight. Um, uh, I was caught actually off guard tonight. Uh, Pastor Emilia just sent me a message um, late this afternoon, early evening, asked if I could share with you tonight. And it's going to be my honor and my privilege to share a word of encouragement with you tonight. Um, as I was sort of preparing for, for tonight, um, I was uh, looking at the prayer request. Um, and as I was looking at the prayer request, um, I sort of realized, and it was very evident, that the enemy is trying everything in his power to, to create doubt in the hearts of believers. He's creating, trying to create us to doubt the love of God for his people. He's trying to create fear in our lives. But I've got good news for you tonight, that God loves you unconditionally. Um, God loves you and he is very, um, he is very present in every detail of your life. And so no, it doesn't matter what you face tonight. I want to encourage you with this word that I believe God has given to me as well as uh, I want to build on, on something that I've heard which I found so powerfully. And so if you have your Bibles with you tonight, I would like you to turn to the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 45 and 46. Okay? The book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 45 and 46. And if you are still joining, I want to welcome you to this call tonight. I hope you had an awesome, awesome weekend and it was blessed. And you had a good Monday. And I know after this call tonight, you're going to have a very blessed um, man, a rest of the week filled with the love of God and filled with his blessings and overflowing. And so if you have your Bibles ready, I'm going to read with you out of the book of Matthew chapter 13, verses um, 45 and 46. And it says the following. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls who when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. So I want to ask you the question tonight. When in, 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 in verse 45, it says here, and again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls. Who is the, who is the, who is the pearls that, that the Bible is referring to? That pearl is you. Pastor Emilia, that pearl is you. Robert, that pearl is you. Runel, you are a pearl tonight. So I want you, just where you're sitting, just, just add this. Robert, the pearl. Emilia, the pearl. Runel, the pearl. Brother Shawkut, you are a pearl. And then when you read further on, it says, it's like a merchant. Who is the merchant the Bible speaks about? That is Jesus. And then it goes forth, it says uh, in verse 46, who when he found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Okay. With that being said, let's turn to the book of Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2, verses number 7. And I'm going to read it to you quickly. And it says, and I'm going to start at verse 5, and it says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, when in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. Verse 7, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a servant and coming in the likeness of men and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. And we know tonight, prayer warriors, that everything is centered about around the cross. There is no greater love story than the price that Jesus paid on the cross of Calvary. And so when we look back at that scripture in Matthew, where it talks about the merchant 
looking for a Paul. I want you to know tonight when he was looking for a Paul, he was looking for you. He was looking for me. And he didn't think twice of letting go of everything he had in heaven so that he can purchase you and he can purchase my freedom. And if there's ever a doubt in your mind, if God loves you and he still loves you, that should answer your question without any shadow of a doubt. I mean, we can go look in, in, in Jeremiah 31, 3. It talks about uh, where Jesus says, I have loved you with everlasting love. If you think about it, where in the other else did God say in the Bible, he never said it to an angel. He never said to an angel, I love you with the everlasting life. But he said it to me and he said it to you. If we look at, for instance, if we look at um, the book of Matthew, chapter 10, 26 to 31, it, God speaks. He says there, uh, God even knows the number of hairs on your head. If you think about that, that God even knows the number of hairs on your head. If you further read in that scripture, it talks about the sparrows. And he says, if a sparrow dies, God even knows when the, the birds die. He is aware of it. If we go read um, uh, um, Psalm 139 and, and the scripture or the heading of uh, Psalms 139, it speaks about God's perfect knowledge of man. If you go read that psalm. It talks about God knows everything when you sit or when you're asleep. When, uh, when God formed you, he took his time when he formed you. He, he, he was taking his time. He wasn't in a hurry to make you. So you're not there. By, 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 you're not living today because um, it's an, uh, it just happened. No, God had a plan and a purpose for you. And when he created you, he took his time. So what I'm trying to say to you tonight is God, you, you know, um, he, he, your life matters to him. You might be thinking, Etienne, you know what? I'm going through all of this financial difficulty. I've got sickness. I've got loved ones that, does, uh, that isn't saved. And we've been praying and we've been praying, but nothing is happening. God still loves you. You know, when I was ministering last week in prayer, um, I was talking or, or ministering about quickly about when Jesus was on the boat asleep and his angels was in the storm. And, 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 and they woke him up and they said, Lord, oh, don't, aren't you, you know, why are you not doing anything? And God answered them. He says, you have little faith. I want to tell you tonight, no matter what you are facing, no matter the storm, God is with you in that storm. He has not given up on you and he will ne never give up on you. Because he loves you so much and he's so much in love with you more than you can ever think or dream possible. And so before I pray with you, pray with you tonight for the sick, I want to sort of, I was listening to this teaching and I shared this with Pastor Emilia when I saw her about two weeks ago about grace. And I, I want you to think about this for a moment. And I want to say this, L let me start off by putting, uh, give you some context to this quickly. Say for instance, that you, a loved one of yours, and I, I'm not speaking with over your life, but I just want to give you an example. Say, for, for instance, in your life, somebody very close to you gets murdered. Okay. Then there's three things that can happen. You could either go to that person, you can kill him, which is called revenge. You can take him to court, which is called justice. Or number three, you could forgive him. Okay. When Jesus hung on that cross, it was my sin and your sin that put him on the cross. we the one that killed Jesus. But at that moment, God could have murdered us, but he didn't. God could have um, asked for justice, but he didn't. But he chose to forgive, forgive us. Not only did God forgive us, but he adopted us. Not only... Did God adopt us, but he gave us an inheritance? Not only did God give us an inheritance, but he loved us and he still loves us like his own son. That's not even grace. That's even far beyond the words I'm saying to try and explain grace to you. Tonight. It's God's grace is even further than that. 
It's much more than my mind can comprehend. That's how much God loves one and each and every one on this call and the one people listening to me tonight. That's how much God loves you. And I'll encourage you with this word tonight. Never, ever doubt the love of God that he has for you. I sense the presence of God on this call tonight. I want to say it again to somebody listening to my voice. Never, ever doubt the love of God that God has for you. The God that has brought you thus far is the same God that will bring you through your circumstances and through every sickness in your life. And he will fulfill every promise that he has made to you. The Bible says, God is not a man that he shall lie. And neither that God is not a man that if he has spoken something, that he will not fulfill it in your life. If God has done all of this, dying on the cross, being beaten, uh, uh, that the Bible says that people could not recognize him. If God would send his son to do that for us, how great is his love towards us? How great is his mercy towards us. How great is his grace towards us. What an awesome God we serve. And so tonight, I hope this word blesses you. But I also pray tonight that if you are listening to my voice and you've been going through stuff tonight, I want you to just to close your eyes tonight and say, God, please forgive me tonight for ever doubting your love for me. And so if you tonight seek in body tonight, I want to, pray tonight for you and I want to ask you to place your hand on that part of your body that is afflicted tonight be it headaches be it cancer just as a point of contact tonight and so father as I stretch my hands in faith towards this camera tonight lord I pray holy spirit that you'll move upon your people in the mighty name of Jesus Ribaka setera bababa shanda. Ribaka setera bababa shendu. Lord, I come against every affliction, every pain in every body. Lord, I pray for Tertia tonight that's got stage two cancer. Lord, we rebuke that cancer in the mighty name of Jesus. And we speak life into that body. Lord, we pray. Every trace of cancer shall be burned out in the name of Jesus. Lord, as she listens to the sound of my voice, I pray, Holy Spirit, that as your war prayer warriors comes in agreement and releases their faith with mine tonight, Lord, Lord, Lord that you will feel the very presence of Jesus Christ himself. Lord, touching and making her body whole from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Lord, I pray for leukemia tonight. I rebuke leukemia in the, the bodies of your people tonight. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we speak life and we command the spirit of death. We can rebuke it and we command it to let go and let loose. Now in Jesus' mighty name. And so, Lord, I pray for every single body on the person on this call tonight. Lord, let this word bless them. Let this word go deep into the very root of their lives, Lord, and bless them, Lord. And Lord, I pray tonight, Lord, that your word will be established in their lives tonight, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. And we say thank you and amen and amen to that word in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, tonight we just thank you, Lord. As a group, we give you glory, honor, and praise for your faithfulness, Lord. And we thank you for your presence, Lord, amongst us on this group. Father, tonight, Lord, your word declares, Lord, in Luke 10, 19, that you've given us the power, Lord, to trample upon snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. And tonight, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we commit MJ to you. Jere, ek weet nie waar, jere, die vijand, jere, in ingang gehad het, of gekryd in die vrouwse lewe nie. But I pray tonight, in the name of Jesus, the name above all names, that every entry point that the enemy has gained into our life, 
that has caused them, my God, to look away from you and look towards the kingdom of darkness and witchcraft, Lord, for satisfaction. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus that their door will be shut. But I pray, my God, that you'll uproot in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, every that the enemy has planted in her mind. I bind every form of witchcraft and mind control in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I commit her and her family to even her husband, my God, that has come under this Jezebelic assignment from the pits of hell. I pray tonight, my God, that you will deliver him and her, that you will open up their eyes, that they will see the light in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, I commit the company to you. Father, in every single woman, Lord, that is becoming trance, Lord, under this form of witchcraft, we break the power of Satan over these people tonight in the name of Jesus. And we declare them free and delivered in Jesus' mighty name. I pray tonight, my God, that you will perform a miracle as only you can in their lives tonight. In Yere, but for super honor, men say Yere, but only the onslaught. Under the influence of Sankovas and witchcraft and all the Klomgoeters, here I bid for not here that here the people really will be free to come in Jesus' mighty name with us for not. We pray in the name of Father. Amen and amen. And amen. Good evening, all. Father God, tonight we just want to thank you for your grace. We want to thank you for your mercy. We want to thank you for your love. You are our Redeemer, you're a rock, you're righteous, Lord, you're the resurrection and life, and there's no one like you. Father, your word says in Second Chronicles 7 verse 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin, sin and I will heal their land. Father, we know, Father God, this is this is the time, Father God, where we pray for revival. This is the time, Lord, that you we pray that you will touch. Um, people, Father, that you will anoint your workers, Father, in the harvest, Father, that you will no anoint us with the well favor of God so that we can always go out and we'll always speak about the love of God, Father. Your word says in Joel 2, verse 28 to 32, and afterward I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men, men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions even on my servants both men and women i will pour out my spirit father and i know lord as we are praying for revival lord we pray lord from the smallest child that can utter prayer to the to the oldest person lord that you will pour out your spirit like never before that they will that they will minister that they will go out and they will seek your face lord and speak about the love of god we are in a time father god where people need to hear about the love of god we living in a time where we then Life's challenges are taking them away from God, where things are getting enough, where life is happening to people, where people realize that they cannot cope anymore, Father. And tonight I pray, Lord, that you will love, will surround them, that you will favor, will surround them, Lord, that they will say, like Psalm 42, verse 1 and 2, um, it says that as the deer, I'm pants for the water brook, so my soul pants, pants for you. Oh God, my soul thirsts for God, for the loving God. When shall I come and appear before God? Lord, I pray on behalf of those, Lord, who are struggling. On behalf of those, Lord, who don't want to speak, Father. On behalf of those, Lord, who are really, really down in the pit of hell, Father God. In a dark place in their life, Father God. I pray, Lord, that they will say as the dear panther for the Lord's soul. Will my soul thirst and long for you, Father? I pray, God, that you will touch 
touch their lives. I pray, Lord, that they will know and feel your home and embrace your presence. Holy Spirit, anoint them. Let people, whoever is around us, who are Christians, Father, let people just give them a hug. Let them just feel the presence. Let people just say, listen, my God is still in control and he will come because he will anoint you. He will give back to you what Satan has stolen from you. And tonight I pray, Father God, that you will touch and anoint, Lord. I pray for every church. Lord, I pray for the workers in the field, Father God, that you will anoint them supernaturally. Every pastor that's on this group, every um, child of God, Father God, that you will, Lord, that the revival will be ignited in their life like never before. That the spirit that you will pour over them, Father, that they will know who they are dealing with, that they will be reckless when it comes to speaking with people about God, about the love of God, because people need to hear about the love of God, Father, Lord, in communities, Father God, with the Life is tough, Father. Lord, thank you for lockdown. Thank you for churches that can go out and spread the good news and feed the hungry and feed those, Lord. But most importantly, spread the word of God. Thank you for what you're going to do. Thank you for every pastor that's on this group, Lord, that you're going to anoint them supernaturally. Lord, thank you for a new word. Thank you for a new desire that they will that they have, Father, to preach the gospel. And I just want want to say I'm 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 excited about what, what you're going to do in the kingdom of God and I honor you in Jesus name amen heavenly father we bless you this night I honor you and we I bless you for every prayer that has gone out uh this evening on this call and for your word that's been spoken and so, Father, we, we, we come before you this night around this platform and on this platform and around this table. And and many of us, many of us, want to. We, we just want to place our hearts before you this night as well. We pray even, Father, that as, your, as your word declares that it will never go out empty. It will come back. It will accomplish everything that it was sent to do. So tonight, even as we are around this table, we, we focus our attention completely on you knowing that we're relying on you, that knowing that you are the answer to every prayer, knowing that you are the answer to every circumstance. And we want to speak the name of Jesus, even in the very atmosphere this night. We want to honor you for your lordship and your kingship. And we declare and we come into agreement with your word that says that you do not fail. You cannot fail and that you watch over your word to perform it. And so, Father, even as as uh, as we are gathered here this night, every request uh, for for those who need healing, for those who 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 need deliverance, for I commit them to you. Every situation, every circumstance, I thank you, Father, that it will have a running with the manifest presence of the living God. I thank you that you are faithful and true to your word, and that you do not fail. Father, we, we, in the situation and circumstances many find themselves in, even on this call, we cannot turn to our left and on our right. We, uh, the circumstances have dictated that they, they, there is no other alternative. And maybe that's a good thing, because then we only focus our attention on you. You are the glory and the lifter of our heads. And so, Father, tonight I pray, even for every single one on this call, and I include myself. Father, we, we find ourselves sometimes in impossible situations, but these impossible situations are only there to show that it becomes a possibility for, for the great I am to come through. And so I bless you. I honor you. I pray even for every single one on this call that there be a manifest, uh, uh, a manifest uh, answer to every pay. I pray in the name of Jesus. I bless you in the in your holy throne this night. I thank you for your abiding presence. I look up to you, even as your word says, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. 
the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Your word says, and the government will be upon his shoulder. I honor you. I thank you, Father, for an open heaven over every single one's life this night. I thank you for an open heaven over and above this call this night. I see the heavens opening up above this call this night. Now, Shechai, Rina Kata, Sorobo, Shiketaya, Merchai, Iriandruku, Shiketaya, Nanamaha, Sikaya, Rino, Stroku, Shiketara, Baha, Sikaya, Mando, Shiketai, and Father, so many requests and things, but but I we I declare your lordship, I declare your kingship, I see you in your glory and your splendor, and as as King and Lord of all, in majesty, ruling and reigning, having the final say, having the final say. Your word says that you will watch over your word to perform it in everyone's life, in the name of Jesus, and you determine the seasons that we we find ourselves in you dictate and i thank you that your word says even in 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 song of songs that the winter is done and the springtime has come and it's never ever been spoken that we should be in winter season some of us in some circumstances for the rest of our lives but it is springtime for many and circumstances are changing and breakthrough is here and and there's there's open doors going open and 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 we need that but we do need the manifest presence of the living god and so father we come before you this night and we 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 bow our knees and our hearts before you this night and we bless you and we say, say thank you for your greatness for who you are because if you've done it before then you can do it again and if you've broken through things before in our lives and father even even for those on this call this night we 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 find ourselves in situations that we don't have answers to and we question the word and and everything else but but there are certain things that we cannot do without you which is we need deliverance from these things we need things to be broken and only you can do it and so with the anointing of the Father, I, I pray for your anointing on every single one that's on this call and their families, over their hearts, over their minds, over their bodies, over every ailment, every sickness, every whatever the issue is. I pray that you bring to light everything done in the darkness, everything that the enemy is hiding away, every every everything that would unlock and break generational curses, everything that the enemy is trying to, to put out of the way. I pray that those things be brought into the light, that you would give your people vision, that you would give your people access to keys and open up things, and, and, and that we would see these things and grab a hold of it and break through like never before. And so, Father, this night we bless you for your faithfulness, that you do not fail. And it is impossible for you to fail. And so we honor you and we bless you for that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Good evening, everybody. Awesome to just gather and to just unite in prayer. I give God all the glory. I see we still have got a few minutes left. Isidore, are you available for a short prayer? Amen. Praise God. Yes, Father, we thank you, Lord. Father God, and as uh, Father, we're praying, Father, and I'm so laid. Lord, you've laid on my heart, Lord, Colossians, Lord. Father God, um, yesterday and, and today, and and Father, in Colossians, where, where Paul prayed with thanksgiving, Father, and he prayed for the, the church in Colossians, my God, and, and the prayer is, Father, and this is what I pray for us, Lord, as your people, as Paul has prayed, and, and for the church, Father, Father, that, Father, that we will be filled, Father God, with the knowledge of your will, in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner that is worthy, worthy of you, Lord, fully pleasing unto you, Father, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of who God, of who you are, Father God, being strengthened with all power according to your glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to you, Father, who has qualified us who has qualified us to share in the inheritance 
of the saints in light. For you have delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of your beloved son, in whom we have redemption and forgiveness of sin. Lord, Father, we praise you. We thank you, Father God, that we pray this, Lord. We, we thank you, Father, for what you have done in our lives and what you are still doing. And Lord, just hearing the prayers that has gone forth tonight, Lord, speaking about Father God, Lord, is strengthening us as your people, strengthening us as your body, preparing us as a bride, Father God, Lord Jesus, preparing us for your bride for what is to come, Lord. There is so much uncertainty. There's so much confusion and, and so much deception, my God, out there. But Father, we pray, and this is our prayer, as Paul prayed, Lord, that you will keep us close to you. And that, Lord, you will you give your angels to watch over us and to encamp around us and to keep us safe, Lord. And that, Father, that as a church and as your people, that we will be filled with zeal for you, on fire for you, bringing glory and praise unto you, Lord Jesus. For you are the author and the finisher of our faith. You are the beginning and the end. All things, my God, you hold all things together, my God. The whole universe, everything is held together by your mighty love and power. And we give you praise and thanks, Father. And God, as you've heard the prayers and the request tonight, Father, we thank you, God, that we serve a mighty God, a God who hears, a God who, who loves us, who cares so much. As we heard tonight, your grace is more than we can ever imagine and comprehend, my God. Your love for us and the inheritance that we have, it is so great, Lord, we thank you. And so, Father, thank you, Lord, that you will come through for each and every one on the call tonight families and loved ones and extended families, my God. We give you all the praise and all the honor and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. While I'm sitting here and I'm standing in agreement with everyone that is praying, and I see the time is really running out now, I'm really so aware of the presence of the Holy Spirit. And I just want to say thank you, Lord, for, for answering and for listening. Thank you for each and everyone on the call. Thank you for uh, Pastor Etienne ministering to us. And <laughs> I can never get you off God because you are already in season and out season. And that is how it should be. But I really appreciate you for just, tuning in and for this uh, moment, just take hands um, over the airwaves and just praise God, trust God. We, each and every one of us on this call tonight, we need a miracle. You can comment and say, yes, Lord, I need a miracle, no matter from what kind. Each and every one of us on this call, I firmly believe we need a breakthrough. There are those who need a word from God. There are those who were touched by God uh, um, through healing while praying. Um, and I want to encourage you that... Um, Without faith, we cannot please God and that we need to understand if God is going to do something, he looks for people who has got an expectation. And that is what I want to leave you with tonight. Um, nothing will happen if you don't have an expectation. So, Lord, I have got an expectation for a supernatural over, above and beyond anything that we can think that is the kind of expectation I have for you to perform a miracle to perform a breakthrough and Lord tonight I pray you are the all powerful one Lord and many times we limit you in your work because we refuse to believe in your ability and in your victory but tonight Lord I activate our faith in the name of Jesus that each and everyone on this call will be expectant knowing that God can do the impossible. God 
can do the impossible. He's yesterday, today, and forever. He is the same. So I want to encourage you. I want to challenge you. Raise the level of your expectation because the devil is not concerned about what you used to be. The devil is not co but concerned but uh, with what you are, but he's concerned about where you are going to from here. And um, he's quite content, content if you just sit there, remain crippled, remain blind, remain in a state, but um, and, and not expecting things. Then you're not a threat to him, but he is terrorized by what you can be in Christ, what you can do in Christ. I want you to believe tonight like never before. This is our week for a miracle. Have a wonderful week. Remember Thursday night, seven o'clock, we pray with Robert and we keep on praying and stay faithful. God bless you. And once again, thank you for tuning in. Until next week, same time, same place. Shalom.